Sino ang mas magaling sa dalawa? Malungkot man minsan isipin na kapwa Filipino ang maglalaban sa boxing o sa anumang pampalakasan, pero wala na talagang choice kapag ang laban ay kinakailangan. Ang laban ni na Jerwin Ancahas at Jonah Sultan ay para IBF Super Flyweight na titulo na hawak naman ni Jerwin Ancahas. Atin pong alamin ang kanilang mga record, si Jonah Sultan ay may professional record na labing apat na panalo, tatlong talo, at may siyang na knockouts. Samantala ang kasalukuyang kampiyon na si Jerwin Ancahas ay may professional boxing record na dalawampu't siyam na panalo, isang talo, isang tabla, at may dalawampung knockouts. Sa pagbukas ng unang round, nagpalitan kaagad ng mga suntok ang dalawang boksingero. At dito nakitaan ng pagka-agresibo itong si Sultan, ngunit si Ancahas naman ay kalmado at binagpatinag kay Sultan. Sa round na ito mas maraming malilinis na suntok ang tumama kay Sultan. to a knee so he throws around Kajas but he, do you know what he's caught he's force it he lets it flow gets his jab going you know he really does it re wait a bit low I think that right up. really difficult dishes in there too good body shot go Have to try and get inside that Pagdating sa ikalawang round, ganun pa rin ang diskarte ni Sultan ang atakihin si Ancahas, at dito nakakatama na rin siya kay Ancahas. Si Ancahas naman ay naghihintay lang ng pagkakamali kay Sultan para makakounter. He nearly pulled off there and Kabi slipped outside the jab and threw his left. Didn't quite connect cleanly but would have been a brilliant shot of it. Finding it difficult really to get to the kind of range that he needs to be at. Split second pause and then throw the left cross. Going to want to do that. Sooner or later he's going to want to really mix this up. Likes to go. Likes to score the nut. Gets his left cross going and starts softening. And uh, he's got the power that when he lands. The operators do, isn't it? The way they kind of build their way into a fight. They Once they've got the one-two flowing, they try and have a couple. Just get behind your jab, get your boxing flow. And then before you know, it knocks them out, and, that, and that's just the way it goes. And uh, and Ancahas certainly goes about the. Sa ikatlong round, walang humpay paring umaataki si Sultan kay Ancahas, at dito nga ay nakatama ng isang malaks na kanan at isang uppercut. Sa mantala, si Ancahas naman ay tuloy parin ang pag counter niya sa bawat bitaw ni Sultan. By his mom wanted to make the big money, Ankar has. Good right hand. So he took it well. Yep, big. So he's doing the right thing, Sultan. Boxing well ahead of him. It's just kind of one step ahead of him. Got well. Coming back with his own shots. Good body shot all the time. Nice left, left hand there from There. Van has. Round three. Look at the upper cut on the end. Didn't quite land. It was a good idea, though. He was. Tina target ni Ankajas ang katawan ni Sultan sa ika. Apat na round. Sa round na ito ay halatang gustong makabawi ni Ancahas at pahinain si Sultan sa bawat bitaw ng kanyang mga kombinasyon. Si Sultan naman ay palaban ding nakipagpalitan ng suntok kay Ancahas. They want to see these two engage a little bit more, but this is the wind and walk forward. Win. You know, landing nice left hook there, looking for the strong. He's boxing while he's doing all the right things. I Countryman, plenty of respect, covering up pretty effectively there, Sultan. Was taken mainly on the club, but it was well delivered. There's that body, it's the solar plexus, he throws it so well and Kahas. And he kind of makes sure then that he kind of steps as he lands with it and gets out of punching range so he can't be counted. Sa pagbukas ng ikalimang round, sumusugod na naman si Sultan kay Ancahas. Ngunit tuwing gawin niya ito ay sinasalubong naman siya ng mga suntok ni Ancahas. Sa round na ito ay halos patas lang ang laban. Step to it. I think that's what they wanted to do. The left up got through the middle. Got good body work as well there. And you good defense there. Keeping those four short in stature. Takes that midriff well. Looks a weight division below. And guys very... Came yeah. in from an unexpected angle. Jabbing with the backhand. Fainting with his feet. Looking to get Sultan to commit. Goes with that kind of backhand jab again. And that of his trainer that he probably will need to commit a bit. Pagdating sa ika-anim na round, tuloy ang estilo ni Sultan, ang atakihin si Ancahas nang walang tigil para mapagod ito. 
Si Ancajas naman ay nananatiling kalmado, at di nag-aksaya ng kanyang mga suntok, at kapag bumitaw si Sultan ng kanyang suntok kaagad namang nakabawi si Ancajas. Well, you can't let that be focused and uh, concentrate on the, uh... <laughs> well, it's off to the side, so gets off on an angle. Uh, you see Manny Pacquiao do it a lot, and he's someone that Ancajas has looked up to and probably... There's that, sir. To the body. Reaching the midway point. Sa ikapitong round, sa round na ito ay tila nagbunga ang pagkaagresibo ni Sultan at dito bahagyang lumamang ito sa puntos. Lumamang si Sultan sa kadahilanang sa mga malilinis na suntok na tumama kay Ancajas. Trouble. Yep, just giving him the little fancy stuff, but clever stuff. He does the basics so well, you know, he just shoots that straight left hand down the middle, sometimes jab. Carhas is trying to kick that head on the move. That Look at the draw. Nice jab there. Just spinning up then. Halatang pagod na rin ang dalawang boksingero sa ikawalong round. Sa round na ito ay maraming mga suntok na sumablay galing kay Sultan. Dito naman ay nakabawi rin si Ancajas. Tuloy rin ang banat niya sa katawan ni Sultan. In favor of Ancajas and all the right hand down the middle. Carhas looking to launch the left hand off the back. Gonna be happy, kind of cruising. So is he gonna look to up the game? Cute, defensively, staying nice and tight. So, um, to see if Ankar has top in terms of winning the rounds for me, but... Sultan at any point, has he, I don't think. But I think it's probably more a case of once to the floor and really closes. He's boxing nicely, he's in a good rhythm, he's winning the Barrel his way forward there, Sultan left caught him. Sa ikasyam na round, dito sa round na ito ay halatang gustong makalamang ni Sultan kay Ancajas. Sa pagkakataong ito, dito ay nakatama ng mga ilang power shots si Sultan kay Ancajas. At dahil dito, bahagyang lumamang na naman si Sultan kay Ancajas. Combination from Sultan there. Sa pagbukas ng ikasampung round, dito ay napagtanto na ni Sultan na kailangan niyang ma-knockdown man lang si Ancajas para manalo. Samantala, si Ancajas naman ay magaling gumamit ng ring at magaling ding umiwas sa mga suntok ni Sultan. So yeah, he needs to be aggressive, he needs to kind of pile up the pressure. Pagdating sa ikalabing isang round, sa round na ito ibinigay na ni Sultan ang lahat, pero sadyang magaling itong si Ancajas madepensa man o opensa. Natatanging pag-asa na lang ni Sultan, ay makatama at masaktang niya si Ancajas. Yeah, in these kind of psychologically, it's a big thing. Yep. Just creeping forward, Sultan, range to let his hands go. Trying from Sultan. Fight when Sultan's trying to look for something big. It's been an interesting fight to watch. This it's been. We'll come to watch some talking about. That he does. Making right left down the middle. More action in that fight between Yafai and Combo. Sa huling round, no choice na talaga si Sultan at dito do or die na ang labanan. Sa bawat atake ni Sultan kay Ancajas ay sinasalubong ito ng mga kombinasyon galing kay Ancajas. Parehong magaling ang dalawa, kaya lang lamang si Ancajas sa opensa at depensa. 
right foot just gave way and both of these two looking to try and put around that right eye of Sultan now. Always constantly looking just to walk you onto that bodes up, just lets his hands grow nice and doesn't, and the power comes from Sultan. He just steals himself. Driving Sultan back, nice and low, difficult to hit. Panalo si Jerwin ang kahas sa pamamagitan ng unanimous decision. Salamat sa panonood at huwag kalimutang mag-like at subscribe. Final few seconds and these two just set their feet. And still, IBF champion of the world, the pretty boy, Jerwin Ancaja.